Serious, what secret could destroy your life if it got out? Well damn. Now that some dude bangs his dog I don't feel so bad about me and my cousin knocking boots every time we're in town together. To all the gay people in this thread, it really does get better. 17 years ago. I could have posted that the secret that could destroy my life was that I was a lesbian. I was 100% sure I'd kill myself if anyone ever found out. I was 100% sure that my parents would be completely destroyed and that my relationship with my parents would be ended. 17 years later. I'm out to everyone I know and getting married later this year. My life remains undestroyed. I failed out of college and didn't tell anyone. I lied about still being in school and pretended to go to classes. My parents still thought they were paying for my college. That is the worst part of this whole thing. I wasted 6 months and a good $5,000, if not more. Edit. Thanks everyone for your responses. It's good to know that I'm not the only one who has messed up. Comma in response to a lot of questions. My parents found out about everything when my mom was trying to get my health insurance taken care of and the insurance said that I wasn't enrolled in school. This was 5 years ago. I have since paid my parents back for the money they spent. Went to community college. Transferred to a 4 year. And I'm now about to graduate with my BS. I can't stop myself from lying. Half the time I lie about things that don't matter and should have just told the truth for but I can't stop myself from doing it. All the lies I've told. Big and small all catch up to at one point or another and are seriously damaging my life. My parents and brother don't trust me at all anymore because I've done some incredibly stupid things and lied about them. I've also had to do things or tell bigger lies to cover what started out as a little white lie. Other people around me that were caught me in a lie don't know how to act around me anymore. I know I need to stop and I am trying but the more I try to stop doing it. The more I do it. This is slowly destroying my life and my relationship with my family and there is nothing I can about it. My twin sister and I love each other. We love each other more than siblings should. I'm sure the incest would disgust a lot of people. And that alone would ruin a lot of relationships. Our parents and grandparents would probably discern and disinherit us. Other family would probably break off contact. And we lose a good chunk of our friends. I imagine news would spread like wildfire amongst our social circle our older sister might be the only person in our family who wouldn't outright condemn us. And I'm not even too sure about that. Sometimes we think about running away to Europe or something. So we can start new lives with fake identities. Edit. Since so many people are asking. We're fraternal twins. And I'm a male. Throw away for obvious reasons. I hit a smallish lottery, few mil, a little while back and told absolutely no one. Family and friends included. I took a bunch of steps to secure my kids futures and we live a very comfortable but not lavish life. I'm pretty generous with the people around me. I think that they just think I'm doing very well career wise, or something illegal under the table. I justify it by thinking that if this was general knowledge amongst friends and family it would ruin relationships. My priority needed to be my kids. The fact that my brother. My father. And I know that my mom has been cheating on my dad for the past 3 years. It's. A complicated situation. Throw away for great reason. When I was about 9. My oldest sister died. Age 32. And her 2 kids came to live with us. I'm a surprise child so all of my siblings are much older than me. My nephew and I shared a room, he was just a year younger than me, and around when I was 11 and he was 10. We started doing sexual things. Over the years. We started out dry humping with clothes on. Then clothes off. Then eventually I started performing oral on him. Around age 13 or 14 we started doing anal, I was always the bottom, nearly every night. When I went away for college at 18. We never did it again and haven't spoken of it since. In fact. I don't remember ever talking about it. One of us would just give our gesture to the other that we wanted to fck and went at it. I'm 21 now and I'm in the process of coming out as gay. 
He identifies as straight and is in a relationship but I wonder all the time if it's just for a cover up. Anyways. We're the only two that know about it and I wouldn't dare tell anyone. Not even my closest. Most trustworthy. Best friend. Sometimes I fear he might tell someone one day. Edit. Ro. Didn't expect this to blow up the way it did. I am emotionally numb. I always have to fake being happy or excited about things. I guess it kind of sucks because I'm not happy or unhappy and the only time I'm considerate is when I'm doing something because I know something bad will happen and not because of guilt or a negative emotion of any kind. I sometimes wonder why I exist but I don't delve too deeply because I just don't care. Ro. I didn't expect this comment to explode like this. I hope everyone understands that I can't possibly go through all of the replies because it would take hours. I'm glad that a lot of people understand how I feel though. Also thanks for all of the support everyone. Colon. Close bracket. I have not paid income taxes in a decade. I don't get any withholding. I don't know how it got away from me like that. At this point I'm afraid to ask. Edit to stop the question. No I will not give an exact location. No. Not even via PM. I created a throwaway because. Though it seems kind of stupid. It could absolutely destroy everything I have built up. I am employed by a company that allows people to work remotely. They only hire in specific states in the US. Not only do I not live in one of those states. I don't even live in the US. I am a US citizen but I'm currently not in the US and it's because of this job and the shitty economy in the country I'm in I get to live a pretty damned lavish life. For every 1 US dollar it's worth about 600% more here because the currency is weak. Getting weaker. And it's just cheap as shti to live here anyways. I've been working for months and I've had some close calls. I screwed up a couple of times and they questioned me about it. I had to lie. How I really feel about myself. It would lead to both people being driven away from me. And people sympathizing empathizing for me. I would hate the people who stayed with me. Probably yell at them. Drive them away. Then I would be alone. And have nothing to live for. So. For now. I put on my facade and move on. Every single day I fantasize about getting on a plane. Going far far away. And starting over. I'm just too afraid to do it. I am a zoophile. And that is not socially accepted. It is sad. I don't do anything wrong. I don't hurt anyone. I just love my dog. And that is not okay. Edit. I didn't expect this to blow up as much as it did. But if you take the time to read this post. I urge you to take time to read the full expanses of each presented argument before casting your vote. Edit 2. My dog and I are just about headed to bed for the night, no. No SX tonight. Just sleep. But I will be back in the morning to answer questions if there are any. Edit 3. First off. Thanks for the gold. That is a nice touch. Also. I would like to thank those who actually take time to read and at least try to understand what I am doing and feeling. That really does mean something to me as well as plenty of others. I'm sure. I do have things to do today. But I will answer as many replies to me as I can in my free time. I have a disability. The internet doesn't know that I'm disabled. I am a developer. Followed by up to 500 people on Twitter and nobody ever saw me or listened my voice. I don't want to reveal that because I'm scared it would destroy my reputation. I know. I'm too much negative and I should relax and simply come out. The problem is that. In real life. I am really disadvantaged by my disability. Sorry if my English is a bit wobbly. I'm not a native speaker. Close bracket. How much I don't care about a lot of people in my life that like me. Coworkers. Friends. Family. There are a ton of them I just don't care for really. And I'm just civil with them for convenience. Some of them have done pretty nice things for me. And I am thankful. But there are still some I just don't really like that much. I used to not be like this. I used to try and maintain all the relationships. Now many old friends people that live far away. 
I don't even make an effort. And I wonder if I ever cared at all. The weirdest part is in social situations. I'm really good at being friendly. And feigning interest in people's life. I've been complimented on being a nice and genuine guy. But there's this resentment I have for many people in my life that I keep hidden. The only people I really care for are a few close friends. My immediate family. And my girlfriend. Other than that. I'd rather just be alone. This one really would destroy my life. I have suicidal ideation fairly frequently. I'm terrified of death and would never actually kill myself. But I fantasize about killing myself a lot. Especially when I'm stressed or tired or PMSing. I've mentally composed more suicide notes than I can possibly imagine. If I ever tell a doctor about it. My life as a free unmedicated woman is over. I'm terrified of mental hospitals and of psychiatric medication. I never told anyone about how I feel. A doctor would instantly confine me to a mental hospital. And a friend or family member would either panic or just think I'm some sort of drama queen. I think about killing myself almost daily. Everyone thinks I'm the happiest, most outgoing person. In reality, I go home, harm myself, and then drink myself to sleep. I have the world convinced I'm doing fine. Edit. Thank you so much for all the kind words. I have an appointment next week to see a psychiatrist and discuss treatment options. I still haven't opened up to anyone. But hopefully therapy will help with that. Thanks again. Reddit. That I love a 44 year old pedophile. Just how much older than me he was, I'm 18, could ruin my life a bit. But I don't hate him for what he did. I wish he would have never done it. But I can't even be mad at him. I'm selfish and miss him and would have done anything to protect him if he hadn't ended his life. I have a crossdressing fetish. But I'm completely straight. I have an incredibly supportive girlfriend who knows but I don't think I could ever handle telling anyone else. And lord only knows what would happen my, small, social life. A really good lifelong buddy of mine dropped out of college after 9 stroke 11 and joined the army. He completed 3 tours in Iraq. Got married. Had a kid. All was great for him. His mom was the type that was close to his friends because they reminded her of him while he was away. So us guys would take her out and keep her company. As a group. One day she called me up and asked to go out and have a drink. She found some pictures or whatever of her son and I from childhood and she couldn't wait to share. We meet up at a local watering hole for a couple drinks and a few laughs. She kept feeding me drinks and before I could say that it was time for me to head out she had her hands on me and was very forward. I admit it wasn't a decision that I was capable of making at that time. So I went with what felt good. We went back to my house and had some of the craziest eye popping tantric, drunk, sex. My buddy died in Iraq a few months later and I am a horrible person. Edit. Spelling. My first girlfriend was really the love of my life. She was the only person that was ever able to finish my sentences and we bonded over sort of a mutual disdain for the world we lived in. I knew her psyche was fragile and I literally gave her a reason to live while she was institutionalized. We broke up and she committed suicide. Or at least that's what I tell people. In reality. I cheated on her and she destroyed herself. She burnt holes through her skin hundreds of times. Sliced dozens of cuts through her body and face. And threw herself off a bridge. I can't even imagine what someone will think if I ever said those things. I've only told a couple people that it even happened. But as far as the details? I probably should do so but I just can't face that. I lied about being infertile. I got off to guys fking me and in turn the risk of getting pregnant. Is that even what you would call a fetish? I actively lied to partners because I wanted the forbidden thrill of doing something I am not supposed to do. You would never know it by how I am though. It haunts me. It would ruin my family. Edit. I forgot to mention I had a miracle baby. I believe in aliens. Like. To an insane degree. I used to attempt to summon them in an effort to be abducted. I've spent countless hours and nights upon sleepless night looking up abduction videos and the like online. 
Every time I think about aliens I get this adrenaline rush and feel so alive with the thought of hyper-intelligent, spiritually advanced, telepathically inclined beings. I dream of being abducted. Or to at least come into contact with extraterrestrials. I guess this wouldn't necessarily destroy my life. Per se. But my family is extremely religious and anything of this nature is a big no-no to them. Plus if anyone realized how much time and energy I've invested into this I'm pretty sure they would think I'm a nut job and stop being friends with me. Here we go. As a kid. Probably around 12. I'm in my 20s now. A friend of mine and I started doing sexual things. We are the same SX and we did everything. I put my penis in his butt. In his mouth. He put his penis in my mouth. In my butt. We did it as much as possible for several years. Eventually we just stopped. We are still friends to this day and never talk about it. Because of this. I think I have a problem with all relationships. I'm currently married but before I got married I was having an inappropriate relationship with a co-worker. This relationship continued after I was married until she told me she was pregnant. She's married. She told me the baby wasn't mine but it was born about 9 months after we last had relations. I haven't told my wife and I think about it every day if the kid is mine and 15 years down the line she popped up out of nowhere. I have never and will never do anything outside of my marriage as the guilt that I live with is so heavy. I almost had an affair. I have no idea why I absolutely love my husband and would absolutely hate myself if I had gone through with it. If I ever told him. I think it would destroy him. A year ago I slept with Miley Cyrus. I got married 3 years ago and I have 2 kids with my wife. I live in Vegas and I met her at a club. She was OFC a VIP but my best friend from high school got a management gig at the club through my dad and worked his way up. He introduced me and during the course of the night we hung out off and on. She invited me to a hotel room party that I took her up on. We smoked weed. Did some molly. And of course got more shitty faced which led to us sleeping together. If my wife found out she'd divorce me. And keep me from my newborn and almost 2 year old sons. Well I am from India and I have evidence to a 726. 8 crore rupee scam that my former company did that basically robbed millions of students a chance at a good livelihood. I was put in the scam by the company and when I said I will not and I resigned. The company told me that they will destroy my life if I made it public. I was 22 at that time and was scared. The owner of the company is related with police officers and literally they can screw my life easily. But not a single day goes by when I don't think about it. I've been living in my head for more than 30 years. As a child. I made some kind of fantasy world to escape from my miserable childhood and I never fully returned to the real world. I never got a proper education. Since I can't concentrate more than a couple of hours before I get distracted and return to my other reality and I have lost several jobs because I'm not paying attention. I don't have any kind of social life and generally prefer to just sit in the dark and dream my life away. Okay. So I cry just about every night because of my financial standings. I feel like a failure. I work as a line cook making minimum wage and hardly have any money for groceries or for anything personal in my life. I've gone hungry. I've gone without power water. I most of the times feel like my life is worthless. They say money can't buy happiness but I can fking guarantee that if I had some I wouldn't feel the way I do most nights when I lay down. Edit. I'm not here to ask for pity or money. Just answering the question honestly. I used to shti my pants until I was like 13. I had no control of my bowels. My mother knew but that was about it. I don't even want to imagine what would have happened if my fellow students found out. Well here goes. Well when I was younger I had a friend let's call her Amanda. Well we were at a park and across the street there was a building plane for demolition. Anyway the genius in me had a great idea to go in it and check it out. As we were exploring the floor caved and she fell down two stories and landed on some debris and was injured. While I caught myself on the first floor. She didn't make it past the first day in the hospital. I'm still haunted by the screams and the begging. Every year I have a little memorial to myself. 
I still blame myself for killing her. It doesn't get any easier as more time passes by. After this I slowly started to dull out feelings. Now I can't seem to care at all. It's caused me to try and kill myself multiple times and every time I tell my friends they don't actually believe that I tried. They all ignore that and say to stop joking about that stuff but they'll never know the truth. One day I hope she will forgive me. When I was 9. I was going to shoot up my school. I planned it for months. I brought all my stepdad's handguns and ammunition. And most assuredly would have gone through with it. But then the girl I liked, who had never talked to me, gave me half of her sandwich at lunch. I later found out it was because it had fallen on the ground. And then someone spat on it before she gave it to me. I frequently regret that I didn't follow through with it. Edit. I love when these threads come around. I feel like I'm slowly letting go of things. One secret at a time. Throw away hair. I go to an Ivy League university where I do undergraduate research in biology. The professor is retiring this semester and has let everyone in the lab go except me as I am working on my own project. I have unrestricted access to most chemicals and work alone. I make drugs in the lab. Mostly DMT. LSD. And MDMA. I sell on the deep web and made $40. 000, 000 over the summer. There's little risk of getting caught since the lab is in a government facility that you need a special keycard to access. I have zero motivation to do anything. I work 40-60 hours a week and while I'm at work you'd think I don't have a care in the world. I have an amazing boyfriend who loves me unconditionally and would do anything for me. But the feeling is one-sided. I just want to close my eyes and fade away into nothingness. To sleep and never wake up. I would never kill myself but if someone came up to me with a gun and said they were going to kill me. I would probably thank them. The only thing that brings me happiness is actually very odd. I enjoy laying at the bottom of a pool while it's cloudy outside and just look at the reflection from above. My thoughts are all scattered I haven't slept in a day or two. To cut it short. All I want to do is play on my computer. And that's it. I hate needing to drive to the store. Go to school. Work. I don't want to have a family. I hate the rest of my own. And I don't see any of this changing anytime soon. I do have a life outside of computers. But I'm not sure it's one I'd want to live. I have another entirely happier life behind these screens that nothing can harm me or affect me. It's so much simpler and I love it. But it has brought me to hate real life. I need to get rich. I want to stay home. I hate this world. This may be weird to a lot of people but I am borderline obsessed with this imaginary world that I created for a novel that I was once going to write. Today it is almost 3 years ago that I came up with the idea. I won't even try to explain it, and ever since I've been sort of lost thinking about it. A lot of people are going to call bullshit. But sometimes when I'm not engaging with anyone. I actually have small hallucinations about the world and the characters. It's kind of scary sometimes. And I've convinced myself that it is not a disorder as I did not have this problem before I began the process of writing. It's mainly auditory. I've yet to have any sort of visual hallucinations. The worst part is I've rewritten the first chapter at least 50 or 60 times and never seem to get it right. I feel that if anyone ever found out. My parents would make me go to an institution. I don't think I'm crazy. But I also don't think that this happens to a lot of people. I don't feel special or any bullshit like that. I'd prefer if it never happened. I was pooping when I started reading the thread on my phone. I got so invested in reading these that after 20 minutes of sitting on the toilet. My body took care of what it needed to. I pulled my pants up and proceeded to class. I just realized that I don't think I wiped. Edit. Went back to the bathroom to check. Yups definitely forgot to wipe. Throw away for obvious reasons. That I absolutely cannot stand my wife anymore and that she has taken my once amazing and happy life and turned it into a horrible, disgusting, and unbearable chore to wake up each morning. We have a daughter that I love more than life itself and I know that if I were to go through with a divorce she would do everything in her power to make sure that I never see that little girl again. 
And seeing as I live in a southern state. She would more than likely achieve this. She would use my depression against me in court and in the end it would only end up fking up our kid in the end. Who knows. Maybe what we have now is going to fck our kid up but it's just not an option to me right now. Edit 1. It's a throwaway. I mean come on. I haven't been attending university for the past 2 years. And no one knows it. My parents think I'm going to graduate this year. And I've no idea how long I can keep this up. I've been faking my results and fee statements. Which they've believed. But I can't fake a diploma. Telling them isn't an option. I've fked up badly before this. Wasted 2 years at another university. Then when I started at my current one. I attended the wrong classes for half a year. And by the time I realized it it was too late. I planned to just reapply for the next year but I wasn't accepted. My parents will literally kill me if they found out. It'd just destroy them. As they're struggling financially and they're counting on me and my brothers to start helping out. I'm looking for jobs in the meantime. But even if I get one I won't be earning as much as I would with the degree. I seriously fked up. I was an underage cam general. It wasn't even for the money. I was obese at the time and I needed somebody to tell me I was beautiful. Even if it was just some random dude jacking off. Don't think I ever showed my face for more than a split second. But I am scared to death somebody might have recorded a session and posted it online. I saw my current long term girlfriend at a convention years ago. Couldn't stop thinking about her. I looked up who she was. I'm incredibly good at finding people online. Would have guessed she was 22. Found out she was 14, 10 years younger. Felt like shit. Decided to keep tabs on her. I kept tabs on her in the background of my life, I'd check on her every month or so. I found out where she was going to college. It was my local school. So I decided to go back to school. By this point I had lost some interest. But I figured if we happened to meet then great if not oh well. My third semester I had an art class and she was in it. I sat by her. She had no idea who I was. Throughout the semester I became friends with her. Asked her out. Now we have been dating for 3 years and I have never told a soul. I'm saving for an engagement ring. I pretty much elaborately stalked my gf and that creeps me out. The only porn I can get off to is mother and son porn. No I'm not sexually attracted to my mother not at all. I'm really not sure why I like it it's just always been my thing lmao obviously no one would fck with me if they knew. Pretty tame compared to most of the stuff on here. But considering my standing with people in my life. This could ruin my reputation big time. I'm super into BDSM. Bondage. Whipping. Cuffs. Bow gags. Paddles. You name it. All of that stuff that people find extremely weird. Or. I assume. Anyway. But I love it. Like. Really love it. I used to wear my sister's underwear from age 10-15. And occasionally hump my pillow to climax in them. When I got to college. I bought female underwear and would occasionally wear it under my normal clothes. This is still something I struggle with at 26. I suffer from derealization and depersonalization to the point that I feel like I'm floating through life. I have no ambition to do the things I love anymore. I can't tell anyone, except my best friend, about it because they'd think I'm nuts and try to force me to get help. I sometimes have to pretend to have emotions because I don't really have any most of the time. I'm numb to the world. It's really hard to look in the mirror and not recognize myself. At all. Yet I pretend every day that I'm fine. I never feel grounded and space out a lot. I feel like it will eventually affect my life worse than it does now. I was diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder 5 years ago. Fairly sure my entire life would be in upheaval if that got out. People aren't so kind when they figure out that ASPD is more commonly known but not correctly, as psychopathy. I don't know if it would destroy all of my life. Since my husband knows my history. But I have extremely conservative, judgmental and maliciously narcissistic parents family members. 
Who would make absolutely sure that everyone I know and everyone my husband knows. From co-workers to friends. That I was a very active zoophile when I was younger and had a very intimate relationship with the family shepherd. Almost all my first experiences of love. Intimacy and sexuality involved him on a very real and deep level that I could never really convey to someone who isn't wired that way. Even after he passed away I still lived in shame and fear for many years and a worry about what would happen if anyone even suspected. It was simultaneously the most magical and terrifying experience of my youth. I still have those unusual attractions but no desire to have a relationship with anyone or anything else besides my husband. Using a throwaway cause I'd be pretty f -ked if the right people found out who I was. My father owns and operates several multi-million production and export companies in a province of China. His companies produces and ships various goods, from fresh produce like chicken and pork to mobile electronics to various military parts, to various international customers. When you're operating at this grand of a scale, you for sure made some bitter enemies. My parents throughout the years are constant targets of corporate espionage. Crossing paths with people willing to do anything to obtain the information or at times the person they are set out to retrieve in exchange for company assets or classified information. Because of this reason, or as I was told by my caretaker, and later my father, I was sent to the United States in order to avoid becoming a vulnerable target. Living here in the United States. I've only been discovered by one of my dad's rival company once. Prompting my parents to relocate me in a different state in the US. I've been living in this state since 6 years old. I'm now 21 and nothing bad has happened so far. I've always wondered though. How long would I have lasted if I lived in China next to my dad? I got arrested this past summer for a DUI. And some other things. When I was sitting in my car with the officer at my window, him waiting for backup to search my car. I truly want to make a move so he would shoot me. I was so ashamed of myself. Knowing I was going to jail. I thought it would just be best if my life just ended at that moment. I think I'm transgender. Started wearing my sister's clothes in private at a young age. Went through my teenage years purging my collection of female clothing over and over. Only to rebuild it again and continue hating myself. I had no understanding of why I felt the urge to continue doing it and thought that I was homosexual or something. But overall I was ashamed more than anything. I actually took the time to do some research and thought I was a crossdresser. But after finally accepting and embracing that concept, I've realized that the only time I'm ever genuinely happy is when I'm presenting as the opposite gender. My so knows and is very supportive. But no one else knows. I have no idea how my friends or family would react if I seriously considered trying to transition. I feel torn between spending the rest of my life as an emotionless, somewhat androgynous male, or a female that's actually happy with herself, but might also lose the respect of my family and friends. When I was in 8th grade I fell in love with my girlfriend. I never thought it would be possible for someone so young could have such strong feelings. The relationship didn't last more than 3 months because my mom and stepdad divorced and I had to move. I thought about her every day since I moved away. I met another person and have been married for 20 years now. I have 4 kids and have no complaints about my wife. 5 years ago through social media I was able to correspond with 8th grade girlfriend. It turns out that she still has feelings for me too. I have been faithful to my wife for our entire marriage but want more than anything to be with my first love. I pull out my hair. I lied to myself about it for years and told myself, and everyone else, that it was alopecia. That my hair was just falling out on its own. But it's me. I have anxiety. Depression. And OCD. I've been in therapy for a while and we've been working on it. And now I'm on a new medication specifically for the pulling. My mom is a nurse and always wants to know what meds I'm on and why. I haven't told her about the new one cause she can't know. I've hidden this for over 10 years. So many people think I'm brave for not wearing wigs and shaving my head but it kills me inside because I've been doing this to myself. My mother told me on her deathbed that my brother had molested me when I was an infant. 
I'd always wondered why my dad seemed so disgusted with me. He protected my brother. Tried to make him into a good man by doing lots of activities with him. Little League Football Indian guides Boy Scouts while he ignored his daughters. He thought of my brother as the victim and didn't want him to carry the guilt or have it affect his life in any way because it's hard for boys. As my mom said. I must have been one sexy baby in order to seduce my 7 year old brother. Even when we were teens my brother would comment in front of me oh. I'd tap that on nice rack or other piggy sayings that no brother should say in front of their sister. None of the other siblings know. But I'm pretty sure if they found out they would say I was lying and making it up for attention so I'll never tell. There's nothing to gain from telling them. I don't speak to them anyways. Haven't for years. I'm pretty sure if he did it to me. He did it to my older sister too. I hope my mom told her too so she can get a bit of closure on some of the reasons behind why we are both bipolar. Sometimes I fantasize about setting a pack of dogs on my brother to watch them tear his throat out. It would be fitting to have a dog put down by other dogs. Every day is a struggle. There isn't a good reason I haven't had a bad life. I was never abused or traumatized at any point. At first I just kinda felt sad sometimes and when I hung out with friends or played a game that I enjoyed it would go away. I eventually moved to alcohol in what everyone called my party phase. They didn't realize it was a desperate bid to feel better in any way. I don't drink anymore. I stopped when I ended up looking out over an underpass one night contemplating it all. I sobbed the rest of that night alone on cold concrete. I rush to smoke every day after work so it doesn't overwhelm me. When I smoke becoming fragmented and hazy laughing at moronic jokes and obscenities. I can feel it. Creeping through my broken mind to my last resolve crumbling underneath it. No support left standing. Just falling. I'm gay. My parents and family are all fairly conservative Christians who are generous enough to pay my tuition in Canada so it's not ridiculously high, and let me borrow money from them. Financially I would need to drop out of school or take out expensive loans if they cut me off. If they find out I'm screwed. Throw away account. I'm an illegal immigrant. The company I work for is very small. If the government found out it would ruin not only my life, but positively end the company and 8 other people would need to find jobs. The owners would lose their business and face massive penalties. I'm a 19 year old male that has never experienced orgasm. Went to the doctor at 16 and he just shrugged and shooed me away. It's easily the worst thing to ever happen to me. Not only because there is something wrong with me but because there is literally no one to help me. I'm completely alone. No guy in the world has this problem but me and it kills me inside that it most likely will never be fixed. I can hear things very very sharply. I really don't know how to describe it. Imagine being in the front of a line of around 50-60 people and being able to hear the whispering conversation, clearly, of the people at the end of the line. I have learned to manage it now by wearing earplugs otherwise it can become very disorientating. Both mine and my GF's parent currently believe that I am working for a very large bank in the UK. I actually quit at the end of last year because of changes in process that I didn't agree with and have spent the last month and a half unemployed and trying to find a job. My GF's parents are what I feel the worst about. They are both Chinese and hold the tradition of working hard and caring for my partner. Worst part? I just received you a cute 1500 from my parents to say. Well done for doing so well. Yep. Fun. While I have the support of my most wonderful group of friends. And my immediate family accepts it. When I come out as trans woman publicly. I'm pretty sure the 99% of the rest of my family. Who I love so much. Will shun me. And that eats away at me every day the closer I get to coming out publicly with it.